Hi, I'm Nick from Nick282K and today I'm going to be taking a slow motion look at impact guns. An impact gun works by storing energy in a heavy rotating mass and then releasing it all at once in small impacts against the output shaft. This puts a lot more force on the bolt or nut that you're trying to tighten or loosen and it takes a lot of the strain off your wrist. This is my personal impact gun so I won't be taking it apart, but I have one of these. They went on sale for $2 at Canadian Tire and they're supposed to be able to let you turn a standard drill into an impact gun just by putting it in the chuck. So let's take a look at these two, how they work in normal operation and then we'll take this one apart and look at it in slow motion. Filmed at 600 frames per second, you can see the hammering action in both tools. For the most part, the bit sits still, except when it is periodically hit by the hammer internally as it engages with the output shaft. Taking the impact wrench adapter apart was surprisingly easy. It was only held together with three small Torx screws that weren't hidden or covered and they weren't the safety torques that have the little dot in the middle. Here you can see the hammer and output shaft as they fit together and the spring that pushes the hammer into the output shaft to give it that periodic hammering action. I cut a slot in the case of the impact gun adapter in order to show about a quarter of the mechanism as it rotates. I'm wearing gloves and goggles because I'm not sure how much plastic it really needs to hold together. Filmed at 1200 frames per second, you can see how the hammer lifts up spins around and is driven down by the spring and forward by the drill at a much higher speed than if it were just driven by the drill directly. Because the hammer hits the output shaft at a much higher speed than the drill is spinning, more energy goes into turning the screw. But it only does this twice per rotation, so the average energy is exactly the same as what's coming out of the drill. When I looked at the high speed footage I noticed that the hammer isn't acting only like a flywheel. Energy is being stored in it because it's spinning but energy is also being stored in this spring. You see when I spin it slowly once it gets past the far edge the spring drives it down and spins it at the same time releasing some stored energy. You can see it takes almost a quarter of a rotation to compress the spring that's pushing down on the hammer. As the hammer slips past the edge of the output shaft, it rolls down a spiral cut that's in the driving shaft. This makes it slam into the output shaft and dissipate all its energy in a very short period of time, putting a lot of force on the bolt or screw. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments and check out some of my previous high speed videos.